So today we have a very, very special video here. We are going to like take a look at the AT, ATC remote control walker, Imperial Walker. Uh, it just came out about, uh, well, it was actually released on the 1st of December. Uh, I got it about six days later. Uh, so we're gonna take a look at it uh, here today. Uh, we are also going to put it up uh, against its predecessor uh, right here, which is the 2010 Legacy uh, AT-80. AT. Um, so we're going to put it up against that as well. And then we also have the AT-80 AT, uh, remote control uh, that came out last year. Uh, I, I, you know what? I apologize. I forget the scale uh, of this particular one right here. Um, but it is obviously a lot smaller than the Legacy and the uh, AT ATC, uh, but it is a remote version. So I wanted to compare uh, its remote features uh, versus the AT ACT's uh, remote uh, uh, functions. So we're going to take a look at that as well. And then, of course, last but never least. Uh, we are going to take a look at the Revel version of the AT-ACT. Now, I've actually already done videos on uh, this one, that one, and uh, I don't know if I've ever covered this uh, old girl right here, um, but she is a part of my collection, so we're going to uh, finally get her on video uh, in, in this uh, comparison here. Uh, so, uh, again, this is the Revel version. This is a model uh, version. Uh, uh, again, I, I apologize, I don't know the uh, proper scale on this, but if you guys are, are not aware, um, uh, again, I did feature this on one of my videos. Uh, it is a very, very impressive uh, model uh, figure, uh, for, especially for the price point. I got this for about 19 bucks uh, on sale. I'm sure you can get this for about 15, 14 bucks. Uh, but it's an excellent item and just to go over the features real quick because there's not too many with this particular guy So we're going to start off with him real quick uh, in our comparison So he comes with light sounds um, So you have those features and I believe there's like two different uh, versions of it. You got the walking noise. You got the uh, laser blast there um, so uh, for 19 bucks, I think you're doing really, really well. Very poseable figure. Um, you can move the uh, legs. There's articulation in the, in the legs with this particular uh, figure, so you can pose him very well. He looks very, very good uh, on your shelf uh, or in your display case. Very light uh, uh, um, model. So uh, actually, again, for the price point, excellent choice there. So. That's that guy. Now, uh, the other guys here uh, is gonna take a little bit more uh, detail and actually a little bit more room, uh, especially for this guy because of his size. So um, we're going to uh, take a look at um, some of the features and you know, you guys, you guys have seen videos on this big guy uh, several times, I'm sure. So we're not gonna go into too much detail. Uh, we really wanna go into detail on this particular guy right here. Um, so we will be doing that. Um, but we are going to start off with the uh, predecessor here. 
uh, do a size comparison. Uh, I haven't. I have been in some discussions with uh, other collectors uh, in regards to the comparison on this particular guy and the uh, AT a ACT uh, remote version, and uh, we're going to break all of that down and, and let you guys decide uh, if the uh, if this particular guy is worth the price. And that's that's one of the biggest sticking points with this guy is the sticker price on him, uh, and uh, and then of course what you get for that price. So. Uh, we're going to cover all of that guys so uh stay tuned all right guys so as i mentioned we're going to take a look at the 2010 at at legacy version of the uh walker uh there is our at at driver on the inside um again i know you guys have seen a million videos on this so we're not going to go into too much detail we're just going to go over the basics here um, and these are my two figures here. We got the uh, commander there, and uh, that's the inside there. Um, this particular model is complete. Um, I did not purchase it complete. I did buy it used, um, and I did have to purchase a couple of uh, missing pieces on here. Uh, I believe the only missing pieces were the side guns there. And, and as you can see, and I don't know if this uh, camera is going to give you that detail, but you see the missile there on the side gun uh, is a different color than that missile um, so right there you can tell that um, I obviously that it didn't they didn't come together uh, there's a pretty good shot there where you can see the two different colors so I had to purchase those separately and for whatever reason uh, they are a different color uh, perhaps I can weather one one of them to uh, probably the lighter one to look closer to the darker one so uh, again, here's uh, another angle, another side uh, of the vehicle. Uh, we have the opening side panels. Uh, and then we're going to go over all of the electronic features on this item. Just real briefly, again, I know you guys have seen all of that before. All right, so getting a look at the back. Um, obviously, this is where the uh, snow speeder uh, is, is going to be at, or the uh, speeder bike, I should say, forgive me. Um, so uh, we're going to take a look at that again. I'm sure you guys have seen this a million times, but that's the uh, little sound that you get when you pull out the speeder bike and so to get a quick look of the, at the speeder bike on the inside, there she is. Lovely, very nice. So that's that. All right, guys. So we're gonna go over the electronics uh, on the uh, AT AT real briefly. Again, this is our legacy version, um, the largest version uh, of the walkers uh, that Hasbro has made. So let's go over those electronic features. Bear with me for just a moment because I'm trying to hold the camera with one hand. And that's our. So there you go guys, you have uh, all of the sounds, the lights, the action, the uh, cockpit actually lights up as well. And uh, periodically it will make its own noises uh, as you can see. So it's an excellent vehicle guys. 
Um, if you uh, have an opportunity to get one of these, most definitely, uh, anyone will tell you, uh, you most definitely want to get it. Uh, I enjoyed it, uh, enjoy it uh, still. And then incidentally, and I'm sure you guys know this as well, but uh, just to cover some of the other features, this uh, is the control uh, where you would, um, and it also has the two guns here as well. You flip the guns. Uh, on there and I'm sorry if I didn't picture that right but there you go uh, that is also the head control uh, it controls the movements of the head uh, up down uh, I believe there is a uh, yeah there's up and down um, so uh, that's how you would operate that guy so uh, that is our legacy version of the AT AT uh, we're going to do a quick comparison with the ATACT. All right, guys. So we're going to get a size comparison going here uh, with the two. Uh, so as you can see here, uh, the Legacy 2010 ATAT uh, is a much larger <clears throat> scale than our ATACT for Rogue One. So, um, you know, there it is, guys, and I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard that. Uh, there are a lot of people who are not in favor of the scale of the ATACT and the price point uh, that they're asking for, it, which is 300 US. Um, however, in my opinion, the uh, remote control features uh, with the uh, app uh, makeup uh, for uh, what it lacks in size versus the legacy version uh, and I will display that very shortly um, we're going to go over some of the functions uh, of the ATACT in just a moment so get ready for that guy all right guys so um, I'm gonna run it with the app uh, in a little bit but I wanted to first just run it um, with the manual controls here on the back uh, just so you can see how those functions work on the um, uh, with the controls on the back and then we'll have some fun with the uh, app uh, in just a moment. So uh, first we want to deal with our uh, our blasters. So those are our blasters, right? And now we want it to walk forward. So if you hold the button down, she will com continue to walk. Once you let go of the button, she goes through one cycle of the walk and then she shuts down. And then we have our head movements. And then here's the other head movement in the other direction. So, so there you go. And those are the head movements and then uh, one now I know there is a uh, huge uh, clan of, of fans who uh, do not like the Nerf, and I am one of them. But I can tell you guys, the Nerf on this feature on this particular uh, item right here is probably one of the best. And let's get a look at it. Let's get another one out of there, right? I mean, come on, we got multiple shots here. We got multiple shots here. All right, so. Um, that is another feature uh, of the vehicle, so uh, really, really neat. Um, and, and as I was mentioning, uh, for the $300 uh, price point on this thing, that is expensive, and I would not even debate that with anybody. Um, but for the size and the remote features that you get with this thing, um, I think they more than make up for it. And then when you guys get to see how it runs with the app, uh, I think you'll uh, see that the price maybe somewhat justified all right guys thank you very much for watching the video i want you to stay tuned for part two of this video where we're going to put both remote walkers in action so look out for that video part two is coming up now